Well, it's time for round two, people. It's been one day, and look at all the damage control spreading across YouTube and the internet about the whole Splatoon voice chat thing. To clarify what's going on, the game will not support voice chat in random matches, so if you want to play by yourself, well, you're screwed. If you and a friend want to copy the game within a couple of other people, then guess what? You cannot talk or communicate to your other team members. And the sad thing about this is, is there's a lot of people that don't have a problem. They think that it's not a big deal. They say as long as they can talk to their friends, then it's fine. Now I know most Nintendo fans here on YouTube are either new or clueless to online gaming, but communicating with random players is integral to a game's online community. Look at the largest lasting game communities out there. World of Warcraft, League of Legends, Counter-Strike, TFC. Do you think any of these communities would be so large if you could talk to only your friends? Hell no. But apparently Nintendo fans forget that you can interact with other players online and then become friends with them. A lot of people actually make gaming buddies with some of their favorite games over the internet, over Xbox Live, over PC, over PlayStation Network. It happens, people. It happens, Nintendo fans. Maybe you don't know or haven't ever experienced it, but it does happen. Because on the Wii U and with games like Splatoon, I don't know exactly how you're going to accomplish that. And you know what's funny? You know what the horrific thing is? Let's go back 11 years. 11 years, more than a decade, to a game called Halo 2. Halo not only had voice chat between friends and random players, it had proximity chat between you and the enemy players. And that's what the fun part was. You could join a random game, talk to people, have a good match, and whether they were on your team or the other team, you could add them to your friends list and actually game with them later. And that's how the game grew, the community became larger, and the game became even more popular. Same with SOCOM. Well, with the Wii U, how exactly are you going to accomplish that? Message boards? Web forums? Meverse? I mean, you have to go through all these external auxiliary things just to emulate community features in a game that have been in existence for over a decade. But of course, you still have a large portion of Nintendo fans defending this, and I don't know why, but yeah, we all know why. They act like if there's voice chat in the game, it's a bad thing. They act like features such as a mute button haven't existed for over a decade. Newsflash. We're on YouTube. If you don't want to hear what someone has to say, then you can simply block and mute them. The same rules in games apply. But even better is we have clowns like Furious Fanboy claiming that they don't mind the lack of features and that they use external devices and setups regardless because they have a better quality because, get this people, get this right here, this is funny. Apparently, the quality of voice chat on the Wii U isn't good. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but let's hypothetically buy into what he is saying. You mean to tell me that Nintendo's next generation console can't beat out the original Xbox when it comes to voice chat communication quality? Are you serious? And for you morons that say, oh, well, I'll just use Skype, TeamSpeak, Ventrilo, or another program on my computer, um, I thought you didn't want to game at a desk by your computer. I thought that you wanted to be on a couch, be comfortable, game on a big screen TV, but now you have to be tethered to your computer just to be able to have voice chat communication. I mean, all this complaining about DLC and extras for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, but now we have to own a tablet, a laptop, a PC or a cell phone in addition to the Wii U just for voice chat. But hey, it's okay. You don't have to pay for online, so it's all good. But then again, wait a second. We on the PC, people that game online on the PC, we don't have to pay for online either, now do we? Huh, imagine that. I mean, you idiots are always talking about boycotting third-party developers and boycotting their games for lack of basic features. Yet, when it comes to Nintendo games and their games not having basic and standard features that have existed for over a decade, you're A-OK. -okay. Nintendo will continue to get a free pass. And why this is? Hell, I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, is that you don't hold them to a higher standard. You don't hold them even to the same standard. And they know it. And that's why they continue to cut corners and get away with it. 
Anybody not wanting a full set of voice chat features that have existed on consoles for over a decade is not only an idiot, but you are directly responsible for holding back and harming the progression of Nintendo as a company. This company is so ass backwards in Stone Age, it's embarrassing. Me, myself, I am happy that the Wii U is a failure. I am happy that it is the worst selling console in Nintendo's history. It does not deserve to sell, and anyone supporting it does nothing but give Nintendo the wrong message. I choose to vote with my wallet, and my wallet tells me not to support bullcrap, so I will not support the Wii U. If you want to be a Nintendo fan, take the other option. Be smart. Buy a 3DS.